Today we're looking at the Inkbird ITC308 temperature controller. Let's get this unboxed. Instruction manual. the cooling heating outputs mains input and temperature probe let's get this in power and uh, see how it looks nice bright backlight right let's take a look at the instruction manual yeah, safety precautions, overview of the unit, specification of the unit, control and display instructions, Key operation instructions. So, I won't be using the alarm myself, but it's nice to have that feature. Nice clean instruction book. So, I'm going to get this set up. So, this unit is really easy to set up. Uh, the instructions are super simple. All you do is hold this set button for three seconds to enter the controls for settings. We have temperature setting. We're going to be aiming for 28 degrees Celsius. Then we hit set. Now it's asking for the temperature differential. We're looking for it to be kept quite consistently at 28. So I want a differential of about one degree. 27 is okay. Again, 26 is okay. Now we're looking for the cold differential. I'm not going to be using the cooling device, so that doesn't need setting. The alarm I shan't be using, but it's nice to have a temperature alarm for over 20 degrees and below 40 degrees operating ranges. Uh, PT is for any delay for compressors, which we're not using. Uh, CA is for calibration, so if you have any known variants in the temperature probe and any temperature devices you're already using. Uh, we didn't actually get to complete that, because I was talking too much. So we're going to set it to 28 again. Leave that and leave it down to 1. No compressor, no calibration known, setting temperature, uh, as in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Then to save, we hold the set button for three. And now you can see the heat setting has come on. So it's now providing power to the heat output because the temperature is reading below this. So it appears this unit should be working really well. So that's just a real quick overview of the Ingbird. Thanks for your time. Uh, I hope you found this useful.